Hello, everyone, and welcome to Art Talk. My name is Peggy Lyle. I'm with the downtown Fort Collins Creative District, and I'm very honored to be able to host uh, these talks every month for downtown Fort Collins, um, letting you know exactly what you can do as part of the Art Walk. Uh, downtown is a thriving arts center with murals, public art, galleries, um, wonderful businesses that are also creative and help you be creative. Um, so we're excited to talk about all those. Every single uh, time we actually get to explore a new segment with a new guest. And I'm very honored today to get to talk about the Fort Collins mural project with my friend, Lindy Zimmer. Hi, Lindy. Hi, <laughs> thanks yeah, for having thanks me. Thanks for being on the show with me. Yeah, totally. Well, um, I'm super excited because I bet a lot of people walk by all the murals that you guys have created and really don't know a lot about the program at all. So um, what I want to do today is kind of explore kind of what you guys do, why you do it, um, and then help them figure out how they can uh, go on some tours for themselves. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. I'm yeah. And especially as we're going, uh, we're in April now and we're going into the warmer months. So it's nice and fun to kind of get out, get some exercise, get your steps in and see some of the murals. So I thought maybe we would start with, if you could tell us sort of the origin story of the Fort Collins mural project. Yeah, I would love to. Um, so it was basically, I was living in Fort Collins um, for quite some time and trying to like figure out you know, how to um, get more murals in Fort Collins without really having the knowledge of how to do it, um, but having the passion and drive. And I was actually painting a mural on the back of the alley cat. And um, mm. yeah, and at that time, um, Jen Hensley, um, who was helping, she basically helped with like the paperwork part of starting the mural project. Um, she was like, are you the only person painting murals in Fort Collins? And I was like, well, not really. There's definitely, there's, you know, some other people, but um, yeah, I would. And she was like, how would you like, how would you feel about doing some sort of like mural like program? And I was like, I, that's exactly what I want to do. And that's. And all um, of a sudden your heart was singing and you were like, yes, let it be. It was. It, yeah, it's actually um, one of those things where it just, it like everything aligned. And so we basically started started the mural project together and um, Jen ended up um, leaving. And I, I kind of always was the front facing part of it as far as like the, the director. And um, yeah, it, it, it has been really quite an adventure since 2015. You know, I feel really grateful that we've had a lot of support Support. especially 2019 we decided to oh. pivot from like painting murals so if anyone walks around uh Fort Collins downtown and then we also have plenty of murals out of downtown um yeah my, our mission was to you know the origin story being that like our mission is to like paint large-scale contemporary murals in Fort Collins and pay artists and really focus on that local aspect of it as well. I love that. I love that. And I cannot believe, so it's been six years. Boy, time flies flies by and you guys have created so many amazing pieces. So tell yeah, everybody a little bit about the program in general. Um, you know, kind of how does it work? How do you pick artists? How do you pick buildings? Um, yeah, a little bit of that info. Yeah, so... Um, how we end up, um, we, we pivoted a little bit in 2019 of how we like go about it. But what we were previously doing was we would find buildings, um, mm -hmm. either from like reaching out to buildings that we thought that had good walls. Like for example, um, Trimble Court is like, was one of our first murals. And um, I love that one. Know, that's the, that's kind yeah. of the bodybuilder Atlas kind of great yeah. mural there. Yeah. And so that was like, um, at the time, Ali Og was sitting on our board and she had good relations with them. And then so we um, got permission for that wall and went through that whole process. And yeah, that was a, that was, it was kind of like used to be just like find a wall and then find, and then we do a call for specific walls once we had enough funds. Mm -hmm. um, now it's pivoted. So that was like the first couple of years where we were kind of painting murals when we would get people to like reach out and it just like kind of like Tetris and we would just paint them like <laughs> along the year. Um, whereas okay. now 
just to kind of focus all of our energy, we just do it in one week of the year. So 2019 was really awesome. We painted 21 murals in Fort Collins. Wow. Um, and that's citywide, yeah. right? That's not just in downtown, yeah. although yeah. we're selfishly focused on downtown today. And there are a lot of them yeah. that are downtown, but you do go citywide. Yeah. Yeah. And we really do. Um, I mean, like focusing on biking and walkability is something that's huge for us and really just um, yeah, I mean, it's actually a lot more challenging to get buildings to, um, you know, at this point, we're always looking for buildings. So if anyone's watching this and has a building and they would like us to curate a mural for their building, reach out. So then the process then now is that we, so we're in the process right now of finding and securing buildings. Um, we're very fortunate that um, we have um, a good amount of funding right now. So we're not um, struggling for funding, which is really awesome. So we're basically finding buildings and organizing buildings. And then what we'll do in, the, um, you know, mid spring, early summer is put out a call to artists. So if anyone's mm -hmm. an artist out there and seeing this, definitely um, keep an eye on our website and then on our Instagram and Facebook. And we'll put a call out that says, hey, we need artists. And so what we're doing right now is um, organizing all the things for that. And then in the late summer, um, we'll have our mural project um, for 2021. And we'll, we're looking to paint around, I don't wanna say numbers and be wrong, but hopefully like uh, like eight murals, eight to 10 murals, but nice. more. Yeah. And so um, it's really exciting and especially um, really focusing on emerging artists. So we really want to give people opportunities who haven't um, necessarily been given um, those opportunities before because they might not have a portfolio, but we really want to right. address that like, hey, you haven't painted a mural before or you are new to this, like we want to give you an opportunity. That's wonderful, you know, really helping the artists grow and um, cultivating kind of that um, that professional development. I, I think that's fabulous. So I did want to explore a little bit the difference because I think for general public, they don't really understand what they're looking at and who did what. Uh, a difference between what you guys do and what uh, Art in Public Places does, because they also do murals, but they are doing murals that are on public property, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yours are all on private property. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So we we basically um, either business owners will reach out to us or we'll reach out to them. And through that relationship, um, we are as the board we curate. So we really want to give a full um, artistic license to the artist. And along with like the difference between like art and public places and us is just that you know I I want to make it as easy as possible for artists and. I want to make it, I mean, I personally am a muralist and artist myself, and a lot of it mm -hmm. comes out of my experiences of like, I want to make things um, very, um, very simple and straightforward for everybody involved. And so right. we have some like, low barriers like, for entry for artists and, and yeah. ease, ease for the business owners and just yeah. being able to turn out the mural, but that's the point. Yeah. And it's been, you know, we've had a good amount of success. So like I'm, I'm stoked. I think that um, it's, uh, we actually delineating between our murals for a long time. We were like, oh, we're going to get plaques made and then plaques were really expensive. And then it's kind of been this ping ponging. But this year we're actually going to be putting stencils on all of our existing murals along with um, signage. Oh, great. Yeah, along with signage of all the artists and then a scan. Um, so like a QR code so that people can, um, scan that it'll go to more information about the artist and then it'll basically take you to the website where you can then find our map which oh that's a great is, addition I love that yeah. because right now uh, if people yeah. see the murals they can see maybe someone's Instagram tag or their name because they signed it maybe some artists are not um, thinking about signing them and so they forgot and so yeah it's it's a little bit of a detective job uh, right no, now so yeah. I'm glad to hear you guys are doing that yeah it's it's something that's been challenging because like we all work at uh, volunteer, you know, um, I put a lot of time into this and so does everyone else on the board. And so we are not paid. And so we put a lot of our own time into it. And I personally am 
very occupied with my own career. And then um, that I live down in Denver now too, is there's the commute and um, mm-hmm. all that being said that some things I've definitely like our number one is always paying artists and we've been able to do that. And the marketing and some of those like smaller things that, you know, would definitely um, bring us more to the forefront of like being more cl- like, like clear of like whose murals are who mm-hmm. to me, like it's important. And I wish I had four more of me on it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we did too. Well, that's actually a perfect segue. Cause I, I want to brag on you a little bit and I want to talk about um, kind of your work because Uh, You know, of course, you've done lots of murals here in Fort Collins, but, you know, people can see your murals throughout the rest of Colorado, too. And I know I've enjoyed quite a few of them down in the Rhino Creative District, another sister creative district. And I just wanted to find out a little bit more about you as an artist and kind of your your projects outside of the, the mural project. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I've been really super grateful to be able to um, be a full time muralist for, you know, it's been, I guess, like almost a little more than three years now. And um, yeah, Denver's been very supportive. I've also, um, last year, I was in India and Sri Lanka before COVID hit and I painted wow. a bunch of murals there um, and did a lot of like volunteer work and painted at some schools and some hostels and um, That's so cool. I, yeah, it's yeah, it's really um, super awesome. I've painted down in Mexico City and like throughout Mexico as well, and um, in Thailand too. Um, so anytime you're, I travel, you're you're a world muralist. I feel so amazingly proud to be able to say, "Hey, her <laughs> mural career started here in Fort Collins." That's pretty cool. Yeah, and I mean, I guess if we really go all the way back, um, I started painting murals when I was in high school, um, and I painted one at the Boulder Public Library with a local artist there and some other high school kids, and that, you know, put kind of planted the seed into my head, which, mm-hmm. um, you know, I didn't go into school for painting. I ended up getting my degree in art education and um, sculpture from CSU, mm-hmm. and then ended up leaving Fort Collins after I graduated, traveled for a year, then moved to Montrose, Colorado, taught there for a couple of years. Oh, and I didn't know you were in Montrose. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's so, fun. That's a totally different experience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was really great because uh, my partner and I at the time were, um, I still am, but very avid climbers. And so like we climbed in the um, Black Canyon and there's just amazing climbing out there <laughs> and just Um, I was able to teach there um, and then the school that I was teaching for was like oh would you paint some stuff on the walls and then uh, it kind of like sparks back into um, what is you know I I was like oh I really like doing this and then I moved back to Fort Collins um, because my boyfriend at the time was like oh I want to go to CSU and so moved back to Fort Collins and that's kind of when I painted at the family center my good friend Krista was working there at the time and she was like, hey, we have a big hallway you can paint. So I painted a 90 <laughs> foot wraparound mural. And that was kind of, I was like, oh, I, I just want to do this. Like, right. It's a, re- it keeps coming up, you know, mural painting just keeps coming back up in your life. So it's wonderful. You made a career out of it now. Yeah. And I feel really grateful to, you know, I had um, a handful of interns. I brought on some younger black artists last year and really just like doing, I'm doing a big community mural in five points starting in April. And that's like involving Redline and then a bunch of other like great organizations, Global Works Fund and all that being said, I am able to paint murals and then also bring in the community aspect, which is really important to me. Um, I really am super passionate about giving, giving people the opportunity to participate in Mm -hmm. something that's changed my life. And ultimately my like, uh, you know, long-term goal is to really be like facilitating, helping other people bring their ideas to fruition in so far as like, I'm just the conduit for like helping them get their ideas onto the wall you know like not that's even awesome my, not even my paint you know like me taking me out of the picture and just being like hey like these are the things you need and this is how like all of the logistical parts and like this is how I brainstorm through and so um I'm I love really, that really gr- well 
And I, I did actually want to talk to you a little bit about um, the uh, Rhino mural projects, because a lot of those too, I feel like were sort of the forefront of a lot of um, important conversations, a lot of murals um, as part of their crush uh, event every year. And just in general, you know, talking about social issues and really um, being a very impactful mural, not just a pretty mural. Um, so do you wanna talk about maybe some of those experiences or kind of how they do the, the crush event every year and some of those neat things in Denver? Yeah, I mean, um, not to put a big damper on it, but Crush is pretty much canceled. It's oh much no, over. yeah. I think I think I did I did hear that. That's a bummer. Well, tell people kind of how it had operated in the past because it was a neat model. Yeah, there's definitely there's unfortunate some like things that happened with the original the founder and some allegations that have come mm -hmm. up. And so, but all that being said, Crush also has. Um, been extremely transformational to that area and um, I feel really lucky that you know I've been able to um, participate and also um, yeah have and there a, are temporary have, walls that that get painted over every year is that correct is that kind of how the model worked yeah I and I I kind of um, so my first mural I painted actually my first big mural I painted in Denver was on the Ramble Hotel um, it was a big four-story woman um, and that actually was during crash but not officially part of crash um, but it's it. still still in Rhino and that was a huge opportunity and honestly what I give a lot of um, like the owner of the Ramble, like originally wanted me to paint a small part of the building. And then mm -hmm. I saw the wall and I was like, what if I paint the Can whole thing? Can I have thing? the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. And um, he was really super awesome and was willing to pay for it. And then also, um, you know, cause a boom lift and painting a whole wall costs a lot more than just painting a 10 foot by 10 foot part of a wall. <laughs> yeah like something well, that people don't really really know is like the materials and like just paying the lifts um or, or the cost of the paint or i mean there's a lot that goes into it and i know i certainly am impressed every time i see the large-scale murals um, i love the one that you did at the exchange um that's a beautiful sort of reclining uh, i can never decide she's this really wonderful amorphic is she during spring or fall or winter she kind of spans all of the seasons um, yeah, and she's yeah. one of my favorites but that that's a huge wall that you took on as well yeah yeah and I've honestly like I've been really like grateful that Denver has a lot of big walls and so I was feeling a little cramped in Fort Collins because there's only so many walls there whereas Denver has a lot more but um yeah and then yeah I got to paint um and then I worked with Odell's um, in 2019 and I painted um, a mural that I titled Love is Love, but originally um, Odell's had approached me about doing a, a Crowler can label for okay. Pride Month. And so I did a Pride label for them. And then they were like, hey, we wanna do Crush. Like you, we want you to paint the back of Odell's for Crush. And I was like, that's super great. Um, but can you guys pay me directly? And then that way, like we can kind of cut out the middleman. I'm always about cutting out the middleman. Like right. just make like it simple, just this, keep it simple. Make it simple. Yeah, I'm like very like, um, which I, you know, advise all artists to really like, you know, you gotta stand up for yourself and you really gotta um, like know what you're worth. Cause sometimes there's a lot of people in between and it kind of takes, takes away some of the funds that you'll get and also the control you get over your own work. Right. But that then for like during Crush, um, I painted that um, mural that's on the back of Odell's and that. That's and that's a, Odell's in Denver, right? That's mm -hmm. not the yeah, Odell's yeah, up yeah. here. Not the, yeah. not the, no. not the, um, the first one. It's Flag the second shift. Odell's. Yeah, yeah totally. Well, Actually, yeah. And they have a third one going in now. But, wow. Um, I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. Good for them. Yeah. Well, I yeah. wanted to ask you sort of a philosophical question. So I want you to feel really grounded and feel inspired. And I want you to think about and tell me what you think the superpower of murals is. Oh man, I mean, I could just gush about murals forever. The superpower of murals is that, um, so if you think about traditional art that is hung in a gallery, it's um, mm -hmm. ex 
extremely exclusive. So it's um, not only is it not for everybody, like those spaces aren't welcome for all different types of people, you know, all different diversities and, you know, um, like within um, the art scene, it's, um, it's, it's very elitist to me um, traditionally. And it's actually very male dominated also, very white, mm. white male dominated. Whereas like murals are on the street. And so the superpower of them is that everyone gets to see it and it becomes art that everybody gets to interact with. And it becomes part of the space and part of the landscape and community. And so it's, it's not exclusive. And also you don't need a ticket to, to go there. You, it's mm-hmm. there all the time. You can go visit it in the middle of the night, you know, and, and that is what's so powerful. And also that it takes, a space that was once usually forgotten and kind of like cast away it's like oh we need to put a wall on our building so just put some concrete up or put a mm-hmm. cinder blocks or whatever and just kind of ignored yeah yeah and and to me like I think I don't know to me like an artist has the ability to create beauty and um also you know ask questions and also drive all of these really amazing things through art and when you get to do that in such a public setting it really brings all those conversations out to everybody you know what I mean I so agree oh yeah and and it's it's it, there's so many layers to them you know I want I, you know you could look at them as they're really just a flat portrayal of something and you know they're fairly static because they're not usually changing, but they're so dynamic in all the things that you just said, ways that they can connect with people, help them create memories, reinvigorate old spaces. I mean, there's just spark conversations. There's so many things that make them amazing. And you've given us a lot to to think about as we see our next murals. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So I did want to ask about this year's, um, uh, or about how people can actually start to engage with the mural project? How can they help fund the mural project? How can they plan their own adventures? I know you guys have some interactive maps. How can they just find out more about it? Yeah, so fcmuralproject.org is our website. And you can also just Google Fort Collins Mural Project um, and the website will come up. We also have a Facebook page. Um, On our website is probably the best way to interact with us. Like if you go, there's a maps tab and that'll take you to our Google map. And I have it broken down by different years and it'll have it, you click on the different, <clears throat> if you click on the different names of the artist, it'll show you, it'll pop up with the address. Mm. And then it'll also pop up with a picture of the mural so that you can also reference that you're in the right spot. Cause sometimes it's like in an alley or it's in like on a on a side of a building that you wouldn't normally like go to organically. Um, so yeah, the our map on our website is um, a really great way. And then also in the next like month, we'll like each mural will then also have a scan on it with all the artists. And then awesome. yeah, and then on our website also there's a donation tab that will take you to our community funded. Uh, which we're always taking donations. That's how we survive. Um, We pay um, all artists um, a starting of $500 per mural. So nobody gets under $500. And then all the way up to, we do $5 per square foot. We're actually probably going to maybe rethink that just because like each year, obviously costs go Mm -hmm. up and we're pulling in more money. And then we also pay for supplies as well. Um, but yeah, our website's a great place to start that has pictures of all of our previous murals up there too. And you can click on them and it has the artist and then it'll go to any of their websites too. So if you want to learn more about them. I know I've done some research, some e-research as I like to call it, trying to figure out what a certain mural title was or who actually was the artist behind it. Um, it's been a great resource that I know I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, and I, I do want to highlight too, that we actually, um, it was really exciting. One of the murals that I know, um, I sort of helped you connect to the, um, to the business owner it's, um, and it actually got featured as part of the statewide, uh, mural trail. They have a big project that we submitted all of our, uh, downtown murals and, um, citywide murals here in Fort Collins to the statewide data bank and, um, that, uh, or database. 
And that database uh, resulted in this amazing article that featured a great mural that you guys painted on Impulse uh, Dance and Fitness this last year. Yeah, Aiko and Corrine of Coco Collab painted that. And yeah, that was uh, yeah a great connection and great mural. Also some really great young artists who are really like pushing forward and doing great things. And um, yeah, as far as the map is like, it's a Google map. Um, so you can go on there and it has all the addresses and um, it's broken down by year. So if you wanna go, mm. you can also, you can also like with Google, like um, it'll, it can, there's a bunch of different options of if like how you wanna take it. Um, and you could travel almost travel, you could almost travel the whole, um, uh, trajectory of the mural project and start with the early years all the way to this last year. Yeah, totally. Unfortunately, some have been painted over. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's, um, you know, we have a two year agreement with business owners, um, building owners. So if at the end of that two years, they feel like painting over it, that's totally something that just happens, you know? Right. Or, well, and, and who knows, maybe it leaves the space for another new creation in the future. Yeah, totally. And, you know, um, in, in five points, um, the Rhino arts district, they, um, with crush, they would paint over murals every year. And, um, the, the thing of that is, is like, it's just kind of part of that project. Um, we personally try, we don't want to paint over murals, like existing ones we really want to keep there and like continue to expand on. Um, there's plenty of walls in my opinion. And um, so, yeah, we're, um, we're always looking for new walls if- uh, Okay, great. I love anyone, that call, call the walls. Call the walls. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we pay for the murals. So we do curate them and we do give business owners um, some, we like, basically after the call goes out and then we get designs back, we will then um, give options to business owners. So they do have some, some, a little bit of decision. Some input, but I know it's important too. You know, you can't make a mural that just looks like a sign, you know, there are sign no, codes yeah, and, you know, there are things yeah. to consider um, that sometimes businesses maybe aren't thinking about all those, but you guys are the experts to help them get the mural that they um, are gonna love on their building. Well, this yeah. has been so great. I, I wanna encourage everybody to not only plan what you wanna do for our um, walk throughout the month. Remember, you can kind of go do things downtown all month long. There are new shows that as of this, uh, this airing of this show, they're gonna be hung in the galleries. Uh, so there's a new kind of freshness to this month's uh, art walk. But again, all of those things, including being part of uh, touring all of the wonderful murals that Lindy and the entire team over at uh, FC Public or FC um, Mural Project have created are is amazing. So if you guys want to plan any of that stuff, make sure and check out downtownfortcollins.com to get uh, information about businesses um, and then check out fcmuralproject.org. Is that right, Lindy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, this has been fabulous. Thank you so much, Lindy, for visiting with me and I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do for this year's uh, painting and, and I'll keep my eye out for some walls. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, in the, in some, somewhere, um, end of August, beginning of September is when we'll have our mural project. We're still waiting on confirming dates, but during that time we'll have artists painting. So, um, yeah, that'll be an opportunity to walk around also and watch some live art happening. Um, yeah. Yeah. I love it. Well, keep up the great work. You know, you're always, you're always welcome in Fort Collins. So if you, during this whole long Colorado living tour, if you end up coming back here, you're very welcome. So we, we love what you've done and we love everything that the project has brought to downtown and, and for our artists. And again, thanks for visiting with me today. Yeah. Thanks Peggy. It's been nice. Yeah. Nice to visit with you. I'll see you later.